vibrate. Come on in, come on in. It is time for the show. Y'all know what show it is. Say it again. One more time. I got headphones everywhere. Just pick one and then and do your thing. Mm -hmm. Come on in, hit the share button. Let's talk about Sunday to the school. Because we are going there. We're going hardcore today with some good history on the book of James, uh, chapter uh, something. Two. Uh, chapter 2. James chapter 2. Turn your Bibles, if you can, to James chapter 2. This is going to be encouraging for those of you who are don't even go to Sunday school. You need this one. Oh, you need this one. Come on, y'all. Come on. We're getting ready to, we're getting ready to go on that. Uh, Lavelle Lacey, blessings to you, superintendent. All right. So good to see you, man. All right. Here we go, y'all. Hold on. Hold on to your horses. I see Bronis Scott here, so y'all pray. Yes. Here we go, y'all. Hold on. Hold on to your horses. Oh, I heard him talk. Hello, everybody. Some other, some other John show. I'm here. It is Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Theology Thursday is the day we sit around the mic and talk about the Bible. The B-I-B-L-E, man, that is the book for me. I'm so excited to be here. This is the day that the Lord has made. Man, I tell you what, let's rejoice and be glad in it. Today is a great subject uh, for those of you who don't go to Sunday school, who don't care about Sunday school. It don't matter about that. Today's subject is for all of y'all, although all Sunday school lessons are for all of y'all's. Uh, today we're dealing in uh, James chapter 2, uh, the 14th through the 26th verse. And we talk about faith without works. Faith without works is completely, uh, utterly destructive. It's dead. All right, let's put it that way. And I want to help you all out with the epistle of James and the, the theme of it. We know that James is the author and the writer of this particular book here. But I want to talk about the purpose here. James is primarily practical. Okay, that's what this book is all about. It is ethical. It emphasizes a duty rather than the doctrine that the other books may uh, emphasize. Okay, it's a practical. It's more of a natural type book. All right, and the author wrote to rebuke the shameful neglect of certain Christian duties that we even uh, neglect even today. All right, but the personal practical uh, application here, and the book's called for ethical living based on the gospel, uh, provides uh, this relevance. James gives a practical exposition of pure religion and undefiled. You have to go to verse uh, chapter 1, 27. Uh, his two fundamental emphases are personal growth in the spiritual life and sensitivity in social relationships. So those of you who are fighting in, in church and you have someone discord among your brethren and all this stuff, you need to go to the book of James to kind of help you uh, get a, a hold of that. Any faith that does not deal with both personal and social issues is a dead faith. Now, the message of James speaks especially to those who are inclined to talk their way to heaven instead of walking their way to heaven. So I like how the book of James is categorized. You've got to go and start with chapter 1 and look at the theme as he take the theme of faith and, and go all throughout James. The first verse of James, okay, this is the purpose of, of tests. It says, James, the servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. And he says, greeting to you. He's talking to those 12 tribes, those Hebrews, okay? Then he says, my brethren counted all joy. And we've, we've heard this. We've quoted this. Many of us, hopefully, we've lived this. Uh, you know, it, it counted all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. And it goes on and on and on. Now, then he he's, he's shifts to the source of these temptations that may come upon you. And then he moves into the subject of faith, all right? Faith obeys the word of God. He says, Wherefore, my brethren and brethren, let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak and shut your mouth, all right, and be slow to wrath. That's, uh, he's, he's leading you into uh, a, the subject matter of faith, and uh, he gives you a bullet points, okay? Then he moves into uh, chapter 2. But before he goes there, he sets us up before he gets to chapter 2 by saying, what is pure religion? I'll tell you, this is one of the greatest books written. 
He says, pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, not to give your tithe and offerings at the church, not to speak in unknown tongues and lay hands on the sick. And that ain't pure religion. That's just stuff that we do. But he says, his pure religion to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. There it is. He set us up to enter into chapter 2. He, the second portion of the faith, he says, this faith also removes discrimination. Somebody called Donald Trump right quick and said, tell him to listen to this show. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with neglect or respect, that is, of persons. For if there come into your assembly a man with gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come into your uh, also poor man in vile raiment. And he goes on and on, and he, he pretty much is relevant to the way y'all treat people in church today. If I got a three-piece suit on, y'all usher me up to the pulpit. If I got faded blue jeans on, well, I got to sit back there by the ushers, okay? He says, don't be a respecter of person and discriminate. That's that first portion of, second portion of faith, all right? All right, we're getting to the subject. The first portion of faith is faith obeys the word. The second portion of faith is faith removes discrimination, all right? He says that that last portion, he says, for he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. All right, now he goes into faith, proves itself by works. Here's where you come in, and hopefully you can help us out with this subject here because so many of us have, uh, yeah, have dealt with this. Mm -hmm. This particular James is the brother of Jesus. The brother Scott is saying here, amen. Uh, Tony Williams, always good to see you. Walter, salute to you, brother, and friend of life, for life. Amen. Friend for life, Tony Williams, you are definitely that. Um, here's verse 14. I kick this off and, and see if uh, Elder Rodney Jones and the beautiful... Tutson is in the room. Oh, I thought I was uh -huh. Yeah, sure, Tutson is here. What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and, well, he have, and have no works? Can faith save this man? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of uh, daily food, and one of you say unto them, <clears throat> Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needed to the body. What does it profit? So, even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead, being alone. All right. Elder Jones? Yes, sir. Both. You ready to deal with just this portion here? Sure. Okay, this is the 14th through the 17th verse. It sure is. Man, there's something here, okay? I've seen this happen. You hungry? Okay, well, well let me pray for you. Right, right. N now, go out there and find something. Yeah, they they hungry on the street every single day. Yeah, every day. Uh-huh, uh -huh. drive past and everything. See, but we don't give them nothing because we say that they're playing games. Ah, I see. Uh huh. But the Bible never says give food to those who do or don't play games. Mm -hmm. It even said if your enemy hunger, feed them. Makes sense. Huh? So we say they panhandlers, and we don't know the man who's raising the offer. We don't know what kind of handler he is. Mm. Some of these guys, we know that they're not right, but we still give. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you got people on the street, you got homeless people every single day that's dying, and we walk right past them, something is not right. Mm. Even Jesus had a treasurer. He did. And you remember one instance where he told them to go do what you got to do, and they thought that he was talking about go give some money to the poor or whatever, because uh, Judas was the treasurer. Right. Because Jesus always gave to the poor. Yes. Every time you saw him, he was given to the poor. And this is an example of what we should be. Right? Yes, I kind of figured he would fly in. This is the example that he is saying that we should exemplify. Now, I think the key word, the key word which is highly misunderstood, misinterpreted, is the word works. Uh oh. When we get the understanding of this word works, it will open up the whole entire lesson. Matter of fact, when we understand the word works, you can close the book, we can change the subject. Mm -hmm. it, it's just that just that simple because of one word, and then I don't know you possibly will get into the difference between Paul's works. Oh, you know I am. And oh yeah, I, I know your mom and daddy, so <laughs> I, I know I know you very well. <laughs> so but what he's saying is that there uh, no but notice the first thing he says at verse 14. 
He says, what does this profit, my brethren, though a man say? Mm -hmm. The key thing is, here's a conversation that he's addressing. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there were skeptics or someone in his day and time that was saying that he was a man of faith, but he didn't have no works to, to back up what he says. Mm -hmm. Now, this works is not, if I want a car, uh, my works would be, I'm going to go to the car lot and get that. He never says anything about that in here. This works that he's addressing is deeds, good deeds done among those who are proclaiming a life of salvation. Mm -hmm. It's what he's dealing with. So he says, now, you said, uh, a man says that he have faith, but he don't have no proof. He don't have no deeds. He don't have no actions. He don't have no servitude to mankind to prove this. Then what he's talking about is dead. Mm -hmm. It's foolish, it's vain, and it is void. So I believe you read where he says, if a brother or sister be naked. Now, we know the word naked does not mean completely nude. Sure. Because he's writing still to, I believe, the Jews, yeah. which are scattered. They have an inner garment and an outer garment. So if you came out the house with just your undergarment on, you were considered as nude. Yeah. Or naked, I'm sorry. Sure. And then he talks about destitute of food. The word destitute means to be behind, to be left behind, which means you don't have enough to survive. Mm -hmm. And so you see a person that does not have enough to survive, and all you want to do is pat them on the back and say, be warm, my son, be filled, and go. Then there is no way that there is proof that you even saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because once you're saved, your action changes. Mm -hmm. Your action, we say, speaks louder than words. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, let your light so shine that men may see your good works, works and glorify the Father. So you're known by your salvation, by the works, by the life that you live, is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So rather than help the people, you tell them, depart in peace. Yes. But you have not helped him. Depart in peace. And sometimes I believe that that's our test. The what part? What? When someone, we see them hungry. Now, he says, if a man or brother be necessary to. Now, I believe sometimes we're confronted with an issue to test us. Mm -hmm. So sometimes a homeless or hungry brother or sister may come to us because they are hungry. Sometimes it's just to test us, to test our faith, to test our works, to test and see if we're going to do what's right about God. And that's true. And many times we fail that test. We fail the test. Which has, you want to expand on that? No, I, I agree totally what he's saying. Yeah. 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 Um, so the... the um, the, the the failing of the test. Many of us fail on the test. Yes, sir. So the, verse 18 says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Mm -hmm. You say, Now show me thy faith without thy works. Mm -hmm. And I will show thee my faith by my works. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thou believest that there is one. Now here's good. This is good. Verse 19. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now watch what he says here. Mm -hmm. He says, Thou believest that there is one God. Yeah. He said, you do well. You know why he's saying that? Mm. Remember the word Shema? Yes. That's Shema, that's the, I think it's the word Shema, the, the Jewish word, mm -hmm. hear, O Israel, mm -hmm. the Lord thy God is one mm -hmm. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, you're a Jew. Mm -hmm. you, you believe that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's as far as yeah. you go. Yeah. yeah. You're doing good. You're doing right. good. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you, you Atta do. boy, Walker. Atta boy. Atta boy, Walker. Atta boy, Walker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then, then he insults this man's yes, integrity. Yes, sir. He says the devils. The devils. Also believe. They believe. They don't just believe. No, they believe and tremble. They tremble. But we just believe. Yeah, we, we just believe. He, he didn't even say you tremble. Yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't even do what the devils yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the devil believe and they and tremble. And they tremble. They do something with the belief. Because they know the truth. They know the truth. But they can't be saved. Intelligent as uh, uh in intellectual assent to a creed is not saving faith. Correct. Don't so just because you recognize. Because you recognize. And just because you believe in the creed. Yes. That don't mean that don't. you say. That means, that means diddly squiddle. And a lot of people know the Bible. They read the Bible. I read, I read, I read, I read the Bible it. twice read in a year. That's fine. Yes. But you ain't living it. You vain. Ah. You, work. you don't even tremble. You don't even tremble. The devil do more than what you yeah, do. Ain't that something? At the name of Jesus, the demons tremble. The demons tremble. The Bible said Jesus came into... Uh,
Mm-hmm. Or oh, what is that that the Jews have? Yeah, the temple. The, the temple. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, he came up in there, and the demons cried out, "Hey, yeah. hey, 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 we we doing fine." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. And and Jesus didn't even say nothing to them. No, he didn't. He just he walked walk, in. He walks in, yeah. and then they say, "Wait a minute, hey, hey, you come to torment us before it's time." Yeah. They know something. They know. They cried out, uh-huh. but he comes into our lives. Hey, we, <laughs> oh, you know, we know the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. We know Genesis, Exodus. We're, you know, we know all that. But yeah. we don't tremble. There's no fear. There's no respect. There's no change of life. There's no works done. There's nothing done yeah. that proves that we are who we say we are. Yeah. Well, we know that you shouldn't judge. We know that one. Well, you better go get that Supreme Court because that's all <laughs> they do every day is judge. And you never, you never. <laughs> I, I, nobody goes to say judge. You judge it. <laughs> Matter of fact, they always take us before the judge when we're in trouble. Yeah, they sure do. do them wrong and see that yeah. don't, don't they take you and pay the judge. Come on, somebody. We, 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 too, too, we, we. You want to say something about that? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Stuff. Okay, so it says, but wilt thou know, O vain man, you need proof that faith without works. Is dead. I'm sorry, Reverend. Mm-hmm. You call him a fool. Yeah, yeah, he did. Because our language says vain. Vain, vain means empty, worthless. Uh, yes. uh, you know, short of you know, a couple of steps short of the roof. Uh, but uh, other translations will say, "Oh, foolish man." Mm-hmm. And he had to be foolish. Why is he foolish? Because he thinks that you can have faith and not have no actions behind it. He thinks that you can be saved and not have a changed life. Hmm, yeah. He thinks you can be saved and not obey God because this word works also uh, deals with obeying God, and you'll see that, I guess, when you get to Abraham. Yeah, Jesus called the man, to, said, uh, he's, he used the word raka. Yeah, raka, R-A-C. meaning thou fool. Yeah, you empty head. Yeah. Mm. That's what that means. That's you're, right. You're an airhead. <laughs> right. Isn't that what they, they used to call you? What, a rocker? Yeah. Now, he was trying to say rotten and airhead, rotten <laughs> But rocker came out. Yeah, rocker. Yeah, yeah, rocker. Oh, oh, oh. He's, he, he, he's rocks, he couldn't, he couldn't he call had, you rocker. He, he just called you Walter. He says, rocks in rock, his head. Rocks in his rocker. head. <laughs> in his head. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, uh, Brother Larry to the Jones is here. How y'all How doing? doing? How you doing? Merrill Lacks music, music and all and everything else you can put in between that. See, it, it's Merrill Lacks music, but it's, it's media. media, but it's a whole lot of philosophy going on there. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, it's not just it's not just video and music. It's a lot of philosophy behind all of that. Mm-hmm. So we thank God that He is here. We're gonna we're gonna turn the, the we're gonna turn the tigers loose. Mm-hmm. Um, right here, that's twenty twenty. He says, "You you you vain air airhead." Okay, okay, have faith. He mm-hmm. says, faith without works is dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, we quote this a lot. Yes. All right, we've been quoting it forever. We've misquoted a lot. And we misquoted quite a bit. Completely. 21, it says, was not Abraham, now why did he bring up Abraham? You know I'm going to ask you that question. Abraham is the man of faith. Mm-hmm. He's the father of faith. Mm-hmm. He's the father of the Jewish, Jewish religion. I see. So they know all about Abraham. I see. So what he does is he takes them to their own people. He takes them to the head of their nation. Mm-hmm. Even though Abraham was not a Jew, right. Abraham was a Hebrew. Right. That rhymes. That's good. So, but he takes them to their head mm-hmm. and tells them what he did to prove his faith. Mm-hmm. And he goes from there. But what he's going to use in the contrast is what's going to get us stumped. But that's why he goes to Abraham, because Abraham is the father of faith. He's the head of the Jewish nation. If he was talking to a Gentile audience, who, what would he have said? If he, an example. Mm, a Gentile? Uh-huh. Probably Cornelius. That's good. Yeah, Cornelius. Good. That yes. was the Gentile yeah. representative. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. You, you kind of smart. <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Sarah got that from Larry? Yes, sir. She got it from Larry. Yeah, yeah, that kind of rhyme too. Uh, Larry got it from Barry. Larry kind of Barry. And so on. <laughs> and so on. And so on. Okay, was not Abraham our father uh, justified? Mm-hmm. Not by his faith. He said by works. By works. Okay, by works. When he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar, seest thou how faith wrought with his works? And by works was faith made perfect. So basically, it seemed like he's saying here that Abraham was was tested by God, mm-hmm. 
But the proving or the justifying of his faith didn't activate until, until he had to do something. His works. Mm -hmm. And then he had to use Isaac. He had to use Isaac. Yeah. So here that had to let know that obedience to the word of God is proof of your faith. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, so the word works would be the actions that he did. Mm -hmm. See, and, and now this is what I'm getting. In the first part of the segment, he used the word works for the word deeds. Yes. That's a good deed that you did yeah. when you helped a brother or your sister. Mm -hmm. Here, I believe he used the word works for compliance to the word of God mm -hmm. or obedience to God. Mm -hmm. And he was justified when he did what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. Or it, it, he, he was justified by works. And I believe the author is letting us know that he was not just justified by faith or his belief, but he was justified by faith and his beliefs. He used the word wrought. Mm -hmm. The word wrought means a co mm -hmm. sure. or a co-worker. So what he's saying is faith and works together is what made Abraham complete in what he did. Because Abraham, God told him to go kill Isaac. Right, right off the bat. Now the movie, what was that movie, The Bible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. It showed him screaming and scratching and crying, and no, that's not how the Bible showed it. Right. The Bible said that he did exactly what God told him to do. There was no, no fighting, no scrumbling, no anger, no nothing. But Hebrew lets us know that uh, Abraham knew that God was able to raise him back up from the dead. Yeah. That's what Hebrew said. Exactly. So when God told him to do it, Abraham was, was, was a friend of God, and Abraham did exactly what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. It's another instance that if you're saved or if you have faith, you're going to do what God says do. Mm -hmm. That's your proof. That's your proof. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Brett Jones, Brett Jones. Okay, you uh, wanted to play the bass guitar when you were young. Mm -hmm. Did you have faith? That I you, had faith. You had faith. Mm hmm what did you do with that faith? How did it, how did it all come to be? All of us have faith. All of us have exercised faith in our lives. We just, we are exercised faith on things that we believe. Pass him that one. Oh, right I'm there. sorry. We, we have a lapel. I, I think he has it on me. Yes. Oh, you do have it on oh, Okay. Me. Can okay. you hear me? I hear you. All right. You, you hear me now? Back. You take that back. Can you hear me now? Oh, I, I heard you the first time. I'm like, why does he sound so clear? But he don't have a mic in front of him. Yeah, that's that, that's that Jones blood in him. I'll okay. teach you about that later. So Go ahead. most of us have faith. You know, when you were a kid, you you wanted the girl. You know, we, we grew up in the 70s, sure. you know. And you saw the girl you wanted to date at the, you wanted to ask the dance at the, at, at the, at the sock hop, right? Sure. What did you do? You put on your cologne. You laid out your baggies or your, your, your suits or your whatever. You, you got your, your best clothes because you had faith that you was going to ask that girl for a date, You but you were preparing yourself. You had faith that you was going to get that dance, yes, right? Yes. Me and Rodney used to see who was going to get as many, who was going to come home with the most phone numbers. That's it. We ha I had faith I was going to get three, four phone numbers. I had faith. At least. The faith allowed me... <laughs> To walk across the room and ask the girl for the phone number. That was faith engaged. Yeah. So I had faith that I was going to be a bass player. As you know, my first first bass was I went in the closet and found this bass guitar with the head broke off. I remember. Right? But before I did that, I took my dad's guitar and played the top four strings. Right. Because faith is a car sitting. Faith, uh, faith is a car in gear. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not a car in park. That's not faith. Right. Faith is a, a, a car in gear. Yes, sir. You applying the faith is you're putting your foot on the gas. Yes, sir. That's you're right. moving forward. Yeah. So faith is a verb. Yeah. So yeah. that's uh that's a short answer. You know, that's pretty good, Elder, Elder Jones. God can't uh, use leaning on the wall. So he, he can't use the <laughs> You can't use a bike that's leaning a on the wall. A bike that's leaning on the wall. Oh, man, that's... that's <laughs> right, right. Yeah, right. a bike leaning on the wall. Right. That's, that's it. That's pretty good. Um, 23 says, And the scripture was fulfilled with, uh, which said, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed. Mm -hmm. All right, there's that mm -hmm. word. Okay. 
There's a there's that's an account. That's okay. the account of the word. It, God uh-huh. gave him credit for that. Give him credit for it. And only God can do it. Ah, ooh wee. Not only that, mm. it did, never said Abraham was righteous. Mm. No. But God counted him. Counted him as, as righteous. Oh, 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 See, oh, oh. None of us are righteous. Mm. You're messing up, man. God counts, counts us as righteous. Right. You're messing up. See, mm. and the problem is many up. Wants to live a life of righteousness according to their own their, thought, yes. mm-hmm. their own book, That's their the own word. Right but God is the one who determines what's right in his eyes. Mm-hmm. Because the person who you think ain't right, mm-hmm. God's saying he's right. We still trying to figure out how was right. David a man after God's own heart. That's right. man, you're messing up right. on the show. We still trying right. to figure this out. Right. I think the scripture talks about our righteousness too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just oh. as filthy rags. Yeah, and when we get off the air, I tell yeah. you exactly yeah. what that means. Yeah. I, do, know, do. I know exactly. Yes, what sir. <laughs> so, so Abraham and all of us people who think we're so righteous, righteous. and all that, we yeah. ain't nothing. Yeah. We ain't Jack. Yeah. What we are is we've been declared righteous by God exactly. and God alone when we receive his son, his son. into our life. Yes, right. That's what makes us righteous. So he took our sins and placed it on him, and he took his righteousness and he placed it on us, and he imputed it upon us as righteous. Okay, help me out here, but you see now everybody's uh, jumping into this blessing of Abraham trip, don't they have man? No clue what Abraham's that, blessing Okay, because they keep saying the blessing of Abraham, and they keep thinking that it's all this wealth and riches. We, yes. we writing songs about it. Yeah, all right, now right. so here's an answer here because mm-hmm. I see the word impute, mm-hmm. uh, the right the word righteous is going to pop up. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then your explanation. Mm-hmm. But for those who are watching here, uh, what? is the blessing of Abraham. The Bible says in even this lesson that, uh, and if you go to Genesis, I don't know, 22, Genesis 17, Genesis 15, mm-hmm. Galatians 6, mm-hmm. or in, in, in Romans, you will see, Galatians 5, you will see that the Bible says that Abraham believed God and he imputed it upon him as righteousness. Right. Okay, that word impute upon him as righteousness is the blessing of Abraham mm-hmm. because the Bible lets us know that righteousness is the blessing. It is a blessing. Yes. We get confused. The uh, what was that called? The covenant that God made with Abraham. Mm-hmm. God made a covenant with Abraham and God gave Abraham some blessings. Yeah. But the blessing that Galatian, that Paul mentions of Abraham is the fact that God imputed righteousness upon him because he believed. Yep. So the only blessing of Abraham that we received is salvation mm-hmm. through accepting Christ. Mm-hmm. That's it. All yeah, these right. songs are in error. They're in error. Because we think that we got everything Abraham got. I beg to differ. Here it says Abraham was a friend of God. Yes. Mm. Yes. And ain't none of us got that walk with God like Abraham himself. I know right. some of us want to make people think. But no, ain't nobody got that walk. Number one, like the Jew does. Because God chose him as his firstborn, mm-hmm. is what he said. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then like his friend, he called Abraham his friend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the blessing of Abraham was the fact that Abraham was declared righteous mm-hmm. without him doing anything other than the fact that he believed. That's what our blessing there is. is. The there same is. thing. Yes. If the blessing of Abraham was all of these riches and wealth, what, what have you, then it makes God almost a lie. Because we don't have it. Because we don't have it. Correct. Okay? So it makes no sense. So the world comes in and says, ooh, I hear y'all, the Christians got a blessing of Abraham. They come in and say, why are y'all poor? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And y'all keep asking me for money and begging and, and, exactly. and we, mm-hmm. and you go, to, and your churches, are, and you don't even own your churches. <laughs> right. These white banks own your church. Right. <laughs> so how could you say you, that's right. Because the Bible explained it. Explained it. What it really is. But we don't want to read it. But we can't read it. Mm-hmm. All right. So it says, and the scripture was fulfilled, which said Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Mm-hmm. Now, L. Jones 24. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Here's a contrast. And here's yes, a sir. fight that happens fight. between two men, James and, and Paul. Paul. Uh-huh. And uh, the uh, what's his name Martin Luther? Yes. Okay, not Martin Luther the King. Not the King. Not that guy. Not that I'm guy. talking about the guy who went over there to the Catholic the Church and he's, he's he took a hammer and you know mm-hmm. and yeah he straightened the church. He, out. he straightened the church. Out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He calls the Book of James uh, the Epistle of Straw. Straw. Because uh-huh. he says this is heresy. Mm-hmm. This goes against Paul's teaching. Right. And here it is. It says, "Ye see." Then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith 
only. Mm -hmm. Okay? He says, likewise also was not Rahab. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now we're in trouble. The harlot justified mm -hmm. by works. The prostitute was justified. You see, when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way, mm -hmm. this is the question. Mm -hmm. He says, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. But the Apostle Paul says, uh, faith alone. Okay? Paul says, faith, not your son, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there goes the song, I am a friend of God, <laughs> Abronia Scott. That's Abronia. Abronia Scott. She said, there goes that song, I'm yeah, a friend of God. There it is. I'm referring to the blessing of Abraham. That's yeah. the song. That's, yeah, that's the song. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh huh. That's that, uh, ninety five. Everybody pieces. knew what song yeah. you were. Everybody about. knew it. Now, now, you, now, I got. I'm gonna yeah. get a phone call. Hey, <laughs> well, is, is, it, is, is, is he on the phone now? D. Curtis <laughs> Random. <laughs> He's calling me hey, right now. Listen, we've done a lot of stuff good. in error. Yeah, we I, have. I have preached in error. Yeah, yeah. I taught in error mm -hmm. until I researched. But this yeah. is what I've been doing in the year 2017: was research the Bible for myself, mm -hmm. rethink the Bible, and reread the Bible. Mm -hmm. Not for the proof about nobody else, but I just wanted to know what was God really saying. I'm tired of taking everybody else's word. Yeah. I took people's word, and it didn't work for me all the days of my life. <clears throat> In order for me to effectively teach the word of God, I have to know without a shadow of a doubt, number one, that he said it, and number two, what does he mean by according to the context that he said it in. Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. That's what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, well, then you need to explain this 24, 25, 26. Mm -hmm. All right, was James uh, fighting against the Apostle Paul? No. Uh, I learned something. Two people can use the same word addressing two separate audiences, mm -hmm. and they use their definition right. of the word. Mm -hmm. In our lesson, James uses the word deeds mm -hmm. for the word works, works. good deeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Paul's time, Paul, because people were trying to say in order for them to be saved, they had to have strict adherence to the law. In that context. In, in Paul's context. Right. So Paul was letting them know you cannot be justified by the works of the law. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're trying to live the Old Testament law and be justified by God. He says you can't do it. So Paul and James are using works differently. Because they're writing to two different audiences at this time, dealing with two different situations and 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 uh, uh, and uh, conversations that's going on. So neither one of them contradict. They both actually came together as one. But James is using the word works. Uh, some other translations use the word deeds or mm -hmm. good deeds mm -hmm. or services performed to the people of the body of Christ. When Paul talks about works, he's talking about getting saved. He's talking about performing works to get saved. Yes, sir. James says doing works after you got saved. Mm -hmm. In other words, the fact that you're saved is going to cause you to do these works, mm -hmm. to do these services, to do these good deeds. Paul's people, Paul said, you think in order for you to be saved, you have to do works first, mm -hmm. which means to comply to the law, mm -hmm. to all of the 613 um, commands. And Paul says, you cannot do it. Okay. But they both let us know that you're justified uh, when you receive Christ into your life. James says, once that takes place, then a certain work is going to kick in. What's that work? Um, you're going to do what God tells you to do. He mm -hmm. uses Abraham. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to help other people. He uses if somebody is destitute of food, you're going to open up your bowels and make sure that they have something to eat or some food or whatever, some clothes or whatever. That's the works that he's talking about. That is the works that he's talking about. He explained it perfectly. So the Apostle Paul, there's a man who is searching for God. And so scripture alludes to... Uh, well, there's just a loot. It says that God draws this mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. draws this man in. Uh, and this drawing comes in because this, uh, this something activates faith wise mm -hmm. in these brothers. I, I look at how Jesus come across some people who had faith and because of their faith and their belief, it made them whole. Yes. And they, then what do you say? They wasn't even saved. Mm. So, uh, so the, it strengthens what the Apostle Paul is saying here. Mm -hmm. But my, my footnotes, let me see, I'm going to read to see if they line up with what you said. Okay. I'm going to see if you're a false prophet. <laughs> again? Again. Again. Yeah, again. Proper line. Uh, yeah, yeah. see if you're proper line. 
Uh, let's see, it says, James and Paul do not contradict each other. Well, he's, that was right on that. He's we right can, there. We can go home. We can go, uh, Paul emphasizes that faith is not religious deeds without a uh, born-again heart. Mm -hmm. Okay? James stresses that faith is not a born-again heart without deeds. Mm -hmm. Neither would uh, agree to the validity of an empty, creedal faith. So this, this part here about Paul, mm -hmm. he says, Paul emphasizes that faith is not religious deeds without a born-again heart. And, and I think it lines up with you, what you're saying, because mm -hmm. I, I asked him, he saw that bass over there, mm -hmm. and he began to believe in his heart that he could play this bass. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be a part, be one with this bass. Mm -hmm. And so his, his his works got activated when he went over there in that closet, <laughs> okay, and he saw this, this broke head. And I think at, at, at one time you were playing with a bass that just had the two strings. Two strings, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two strings. Did all yeah. the runs on two strings. All the runs all on two runs, strings. All the way up the neck on two all strings. All the way up. Yes, sir. You know, we, if you, we it, played our guitar. Yep. Like, Three strings, four strings. If you close your eyes, you thought it was four, six strings. You know, yeah. it, you know, depending well, on. I won't, I won't yeah, say all that. yeah, I would. I, I okay, thought y'all, well, I thought y'all was all right. You got face right. with you got a haterade in his car. Yeah, he got haterade in his car. You got face with words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got haterade. Yeah, yeah. Help us out, uh, Doc. Yeah. What, what do you got to say about all that? Well, you know, you know, um, Rodney and myself was was talking about this faith thing yesterday, and he's okay. right. A lot of things scripturally, we get wrong mm -hmm. and and um i stop listening to what people say and applying to what the word says and he surprised to start working mm -hmm. you know uh but we have to look at things in its content mm -hmm. so what he's saying is not that faith without works is not correct he was saying that scripture in his content is misquoted all the time sure like a lot of scriptures in the Bible yes. is. Yes. But a lot of us that say we have faith don't really have faith. That's true. And that is, I think, is one of the biggest problems. You don't have faith. Right. Because you're going to, you know what, I'm going to get a new car. Yeah, and you know, we we, I, I, we give what, what I call a holy band-aid. Yes, you, you <laughs> claim it, baby, claim it, baby. <laughs> and you go home and you do nothing. You do absolutely <laughs> nothing. God just going to drop a car down all out the sky. Yeah, yeah, my ship is coming. If I hear that one more time, I'm going to slap everybody in the room. My <laughs> ship is coming I'm in. Leaving. Faith <laughs> tells you to start building the ship mm -hmm. and not waiting right. for the ship to come in. Just like when Jesus beckoned for Peter to walk on the water. Mm -hmm. If he didn't say Peter, he didn't beckon for Peter and, and Peter just held his hands out and said, all right, Lord, just carry me up. <laughs> Peter had to get out of that boat mm -hmm. and have faith that if he stepped on that water, he was not going to be consumed. Mm -hmm. That's faith engaged. Yeah. yeah, Faith is a walk. We have to walk this faith out. So we have no power because we don't exercise our faith and we truly don't believe. We truly don't believe. I, and then that I you that we don't believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the New Year's resolutions that come up every December. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have this uh, this fake faith. Fake faith. It is. That January 1st, I'm going to start this new thing. Right. Now, it's 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 December 15th, all yeah. right? Which, by the 15th, 75% mm -hmm. of people have already given up. They gave up. So they should start on the 15th. But oh, go ahead. Lord. Yes. But that's good. The moment that you think that something you should be doing something, mm -hmm. you should do it at that moment. At that moment. At that moment. Yes. Uh, and then that's why so many poor people stay poor because they yep. keep saying two weeks from now, yep. here's what I'm here's going what to I'm do. do. Here's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, now, <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For like an evil scientist. Okay. Do it, do it son. Do okay. Um, <clears throat> I see the word faith pop up a few times in scripture mm -hmm. because faith, um, God says that, uh, the scripture says that it is impossible to, to please, please God, God without it. Without it. Without it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, I think I saw in the fruit of the spirit, one of them was that. The Galatians 5. I don't believe you can, you can believe in God without faith. I, you know, yeah, you, because that you, is belief. That, you, believe that is, God is, is faith. faith. Yeah, because the fruit of the spirit it says, uh, let's see, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. 
long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. 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 That's true of spirit. Mm -hmm. That's and, which has to be a specific type of faith because mm -hmm. one has to have saving faith yeah. for all this mm -hmm. to be activated. I see. So now. let me ask you a question, brother. Brother uh, Jones. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just three so, brother Jones. Three, three, three brother Jones. But I'm looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> the other one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that you were saying about rocks in the head? Right. <laughs> but anyway, let's stay on point. So a fruitless person, uh -huh. a person that have no fruit, mm -hmm. nowhere in, in, in their aspects of their lives, would you say that person has no faith? Yeah, they have no faith. Because they, no, no, everybody has faith. Everybody has a measure, a of, measure faith. of faith. Everybody Believe is that. born with faith. Everybody yeah. believes and trusts in something. Mm -hmm. Because the word faith means to be persuaded in mm -hmm. or to be convinced in something. The thing is, what is it that you have faith in mm -hmm. is what makes the difference. You wanted the car. Mm -hmm. Your faith was mm -hmm. when you go to get the car, you're going to get it. Right. Mm -hmm. Her faith was when she applied for a job, she's going to get it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's what we call active faith. It's that living is. faith. Mm -hmm. And not only do you do that, but you walk towards it uh, as if you already have it. Mm -hmm. And so that's the type of faith that we need in this day and time. Someone asked me a question on my Sunday school page about um, looking for a job. Should they stop because they have not received it? Or should they stop asking God? And the answer is no. Because the Bible talks about ask, seek, and knock. Mm -hmm. And then he says, if everybody did ask, which means keep asking, keep mm -hmm. seeking, keep knocking, mm -hmm. other ones who's going to get it. The minute you give up. And that's literal for finding a job. Yes. Ask, that is. seek, and knock. Yeah, because sometimes, and everything we do is according to the will of God. Yeah. So it may not be God's will that you have that, that particular, particular job. Because God mm -hmm. knows the final outcome. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we get stuff. Remember the song I used to sing? When you get a little money, get on your mm -hmm. feet. Why do you change? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes God knows when we get a little money, mm -hmm. we're going to walk off and leave him. So yeah. he can't will it so in our lives because his mercy is mm -hmm. upon us so much until he knows that if we get it, we're going to walk mm -hmm. off and leave him. Yeah. So God can't let that happen. I can't let that happen. Okay, I want uh, to define three words mm -hmm. that we see quite often and that we, we quote in church. Okay. Uh, mercy, grace, mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. I go with grace first. Grace? Grace. Okay, mm -hmm. now, help us out here because mm -hmm. it seems like many people get a lot of, get them mixed up. Yeah, they're very mm -hmm. easy to get mixed up. They can, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, because one you see pop up mostly in the Old Testament. Yeah. Another one pops up in the New Testament quite a bit. Mercy is always in the Old Testament. Old Testament. Okay, all right. So you're dealing with which one? Grace. Grace. All right. Help us out with this. What does it mean? Uh, grace, what we, the normal is we say grace is the unmerited favor of God. Right. But grace is the favor of God upon an individual's life, mm -hmm. not with reciprocation. What is that? Recipro what's that word? Reciprocity. No, with reciprocity. Yes. reciprocity. Yeah. In other words, God is not looking for nothing in, in return. return. Yes. Right. God's grace is given to you because God is grace. Mm -hmm. And then God is the river that flows from the heart of God. And then grace is the divine influence upon the heart of man. Wait, wait. Who? Grace uh -huh. is the divine influence yes. upon the heart All right. of man. Yes, sir. When a man operates out of the grace of God, that means God have changed that man's heart. Mm -hmm. That's another word for grace. Mm -hmm. And then everything that we deal with, all the gifts that we receive are called gifts of grace. Mm -hmm. In other words, you don't deserve it, but God out of the kindness of his heart gave it to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And if a believer now walks in the grace of God mm -hmm. or in the favor of mm -hmm. God. And that's the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. His grace surrounds us or his favor surrounds us. And so I say this to every believer, walk in the favor of God. Okay. Unbelievers, are they under grace? Uh, yes and no. Mm -hmm. Because actually we're under the whole realm of grace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right now they're surviving because the Bible says, Know ye not, old, old man, that it is the goodness of God mm -hmm. that leadeth men unto repentance. Mm -hmm. He reigns on the just as well as the yes. unjust. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're still alive because of the grace of God. The grace of God, mm -hmm. the grace of God got mm -hmm. you still there because God is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he don't treat us like we treat mm -hmm. him or like we treat mm -hmm. each other. So God, there is a song that I... I believe is true. Somebody prayed. Somebody for me. prayed for me. Yes. Had me on their mind. That's yes. right. 
took the time to pray for me. Mm -hmm. And that I'm is so a glad form. they prayed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what they're what they were doing is praying grace over your life. Mm -hmm. And the, most of that that grace is time for you to seek seek the Lord and get your business straight. True. Now that's good. That's good. And that's that uh, that that's grace. And uh, Katina Turner, she, she says, define unmerited favor. Of course, mm -hmm. you know we could look at the the, the uh, look at the root word. Okay, that's that's, that's, that's favor that you don't deserve. Right, because right. you got to define merit because mm -hmm. people hear that a lot, but mm -hmm. we never stop and break these things down to people. So that's why mm -hmm. people just quote them in error. Yeah, right. Uh, and and out of context. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is something. Okay, then, then. Uh, the award shows. Mm -hmm. What kind of awards are these? Are these? These are merits. These are these are merits. merits. These are All right. Merits. So the Grammys last week mm -hmm. were merits. Merits. Okay. And meaning what? Meaning they earned this. Ah, uh -huh. they earned it because they, they merited it. They did something they did for something it to get it mm -hmm. for. It. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Christmas times. We give people gifts. Yes. Right. Why do we do that? Are they married? Uh, no. no. Some are and some not. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we give it because of who we are. Mm -hmm. ah. See, a Christian don't live by who others are. Uh -huh. We live by who we I are. I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, so that's I forgive, why. I forgive you, uh -huh. not because of you, uh -huh. but I forgive you because I'm uh -huh. a forgiving person. Because of me. Because mm -hmm. of, of you did right. that. Okay. So we give gifts to strangers, we don't know them. Correct. Mm -hmm. Not because they did something, right. mm -hmm. but because of us, we love them. Right. Yeah, God gives gifts to sinners. That's uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Gifts uh -huh. are given without repentance. I see, I see. People are born with gifts. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then when you get saved, then there's the spiritual gifts. Right. Mm -hmm. See, you're not born with spiritual gifts. Right. You're given spiritual gifts mm -hmm. upon salvation. Oh, That's right. why it's the gifts of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. But people are born with gifts. Yes. Naturally yes. born with them. Yes. Yes. And then when you do right about others, it's the grace of God in you activated, mm -hmm. causing you to do right about mm -hmm. others. Right. Which means it's God's grace working right. in their life mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. through you. Mm -hmm. you Mercy, on the other hand, is the fact that God does not punish you mm -hmm. when you need to be punished. There it is. Mm -hmm. Because ju you don't want just you don't want justice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want justice because justice says you got to die. Mm -hmm. But mercy says I'm right. going to let you live mm -hmm. and let my son die. Mm -hmm. yeah, see, that's what mercy mm -hmm. says. That's what mercy Mm -hmm. Love, that song says, Mercy says no. <laughs> mercy says no because uh, mercy is not giving you something you deserve. Right. Correct. Grace is giving you something you didn't deserve. You didn't deserve. Didn't deserve. Oh, that I felt right. that in my shango. Oh, Something mm -hmm. going on in the room, man. Mm -hmm. The sons of thunder and the sister of mm -hmm. uh, Sister Sledge. I don't know, Adam. What are we going to call you? <laughs> sister of lightning. Sister of lightning. <laughs> I think I told Rodney this story. I, I got pulled over, what was it, a month ago? Remember I told you I got pulled over by the cop? Mm -hmm. And um, I, I blew through a yellow light. I blew through a red light in mm -hmm. Crown Point, Indiana. The cop walked up to the car. First thing I said, I rolled down the window. I had my license in my hand. And he looked at me. He said, you knew that you blew that light, that stop sign it was. You didn't stop. I said, yep, I know it. I said, but what I need right now is grace. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you that? Mm-hmm. That cop looked at me, grabbed my license, went back to his car, ran it, ran it, came back. He said, have a nice day. And he chuckled. He says, by the way, who is Grace? <laughs> and, and he chuckled. He says, I got you. He said, I understand. He said, he said I wish everybody was like you. Yeah, wow. He extended Grace. You know why? I was guilty. Mm -hmm. Yes. He could have wrote that ticket. Yeah. I didn't deserve to be let free like that. Mm -hmm. Now... Every time I see him at that stop sign, he waves. Right. Wow. Do you that still was blow the stop great. sign? No, I stop. <laughs> okay. <at the> stop sign. Because <laughs> you don't want to frustrate. When I, when I see his car. Right. <laughs> Paul said, I do not frustrate, frustrate. the grace of right. God. Yeah. I do not frustrate yes. the yes. grace of God. Uh, well, that's good. And I think he also said, 
how much more right. will this grace right. abound? Yeah. <laughs> right. exactly. Because we keep pulling we on keep the grace. Yes, like we sir. say, don't and take my a, meekness for a week. You see what I'm saying? It's a Russian roulette. Yes, right. Okay, yeah. keep keep turning at the, what do you call that thing in the gun? What do you the, call the it? Barrel. The, the barrel. The barrel, the chamber, barrel. okay? Uh -huh. barrel. And that's what we're doing with God. It says, okay, you keep yeah. you keep pushing me, right. keep pushing me, right. and ain't gonna get, it's not going to keep But running. you know what, though? This. What, what mm -hmm. the, the fire. Yes, Talking about the before, the mm -hmm. fire and the lack of fire. Yes, sir. Is the wrath of God. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. For those who refuse mm -hmm. to receive the grace of God. Mm -hmm. The fire. Now, that's a fire. That's, that's a, fire. a fire. Yeah, yeah. That's I got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Somebody got bronchitis. Somebody got bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes, sir. I was woke up and I wanted Coca -Cola. some Coca Cola. Cold pop. Cold pop. Cold pop. Not today, not today. <laughs> I know I got two, I got two stirs going on here. Not today. Not today. <laughs> okay, Sal Jones. Yes, sir. Tag, you're it. Okay. How do we pull all this to together? Uh, verse uh, um, um, James chapter two, mm -hmm. the the lesson mm -hmm. applicable. Yeah. How how do we make this? The Bible lets us know, number one, and, and I, I believe uh, faith in God produces obedience to his word. The example would be Abraham. God told Abraham what to do, and Abraham was obedient to God, and he was called, he was justified, or he was imputed as righteous before God because Abraham did exactly what God told him to do. And number two, faith in God causes you to produce good deeds. If something is wrong with your brother or your sister, the fact that you believe in God and the word faith means to be fully persuaded, to be convicted of. Mm -hmm. The fact that you have accepted Christ into your life as your personal savior produces works. It produces uh, servitude. Uh, uh, faith in God produces servitude for mankind, mm -hmm. for humanity, period. The person does not have to be saved for you to do a good deed to them. As a matter of fact, faith in God causes you to want to go out to do what's right to help your fellow brother. You can't walk past somebody who's in trouble and you can help them and you turn your back. That's not faith in God. This lesson lets us know that if you're going to have a confession of faith, then the proof is in the pudding. God sees your faith, but man sees your actions. Ooh -wee. Man sees your action. And uh, gosh, this is action news, y'all, at uh, 556. That's pretty good. I mean, you know, I didn't even tell him to wrap it up, no, but uh, he wrapped it up just in time because we're getting ready to shut this I show off. Man, that's pretty time. good. And I, I, I tell you, the band, oh, see, the band is playing, I told you. Mm hmm. Ryan is playing by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Doc Jones over here to my left, uh, Mayor Lax Media. Uh, uh, Y'all go over there and uh, go to YouTube and type that in, and you're going to see all his work. <laughs> Get some coffee and sit down, because there's a lot of work. All right? Uh, Ronnie Jones comes over to us on Thursday nights, but he also has a, a YouTube channel. Thousands of folk uh, visit that channel mm -hmm. to hear the Sunday School lesson or go at least watch it. Go there and subscribe. Yeah, hit the subscribe button at the Elder. Uh, let's think it's Rodney Jones Sunday School. I think it's called. Mm -hmm. All right. And the woman that said a whole lot took over the show today. Stop it. The great uh, Tutson. Uh -huh. Tutson. 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 Tutson three two seven hundred. Elder, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. D. Curtis Randall is up next. Brother D. Tell Yes, tell your grandmama, uh, leave the room because it's some good folks, good young folks uh, going to uh, sing some songs to you. And knowing that brother uh, yeah. all along. No Mahalia Jackson, no Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> so what's the Jones show? <laughs> oh, ah, Lord. And thank you, Facebook. And I'm, uh, yeah, Facebook. Bruno Scott, Vicky, and uh, uh, who's this? Shante? Hey, uh, oh, Natalie Miles. I'm oh, sorry, I said Natalie. Natasha Miles, she's going to give me Sunday. Oh, I repent. Good, uh, oh, and yeah. Natasha, yeah. Uh, tell your husband, my bad. Uh, Loretta Johnson, my heart is on here. Faith Temple is representing Tony Williams, my longtime friend, Vanessa Kraft from, uh, from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. All right. 
and the rest of y'all and the rest I think I see Lady Rochelle here blessings to you girl and um and um yeah Rahab okay hey we got we got an after show going on here uh, after show for about five minutes all right let's talk about Rahab if you can um and see if we can deal with this woman this holly tree <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, what do you got to say about that, Tuxin? I just like how he just. Yeah, okay, I tell you what, before you do that, we want to plug all the headphones. So there's no bleed over. Yeah, ma'am, it's extremely hot. All right, there you go. Ella Jones? Yes, the boss. Can you move this thing out the way I want yes, to get Yes, the boss. There it is. All right. Oh my God. Teach. I don't want Teach. to be on there. Okay, okay, well, you're going to be off there in a minute. Just right, so here. I just like how I just like how James just um um brought out Rahab and it was just even though she was living a life of prostitution she still was favored in God's eyes mm -hmm. and I just like how he just um, mentioned her and elaborated on um, her faith right no matter what she's what what we don't know the Bible doesn't really explain how she got to this lifestyle right it just talks about her faith, her faith. and she had mm -hmm. a perspective that the believers didn't, didn't have. have. And that's what I admired about her story so much. Not so mm -hmm. much about her occupation, right. but it was more so about her story of mm -hmm. how she became, how she um, came to faith and how she came to believe God. And because of that, right. she became the great grandmother of King David. Yes, as right. a, she saved her whole household because yeah. of that one deed she did. Yeah. And she had the faith to believe beyond a shadow right. of a doubt that God was who he was. Yes. And she went, she took that information mm -hmm. and she shared that with her family. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them thought that she was turning against her people when she yeah. really wasn't. She was really saving her people. And people think that religious principles like faith and everything we think the church own it we they we, don't we, we don't. don't we don't we don't understand we just think that the bible is just for the church folk and we possess all the power we don't mm -hmm. gifts are to the non-believer just as much as it is to the believer right faith is to the non-believer isn't it funny that in the bible whenever harlots and prostitutes are uh are used it's always to teach us oh, a lesson. A lesson. Mm -hmm. People, we're, sometimes we're so, we're no earthly good. We're so heavenly, we're no earthly good. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at the Bible, and every time you, you see a harlot, it's to teach us a lesson. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's not to condemn the harlot. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny? And that's, I think that's what he brought out. <laughs> exactly. And he brought that out, that yes. it wasn't to condemn her. Right. It was to bring out her faith. Yes. A faith that we, I thought I had. Right. And I was like, Okay, well, wow, you right. know, and she saved a whole, pretty much her whole nation, a whole mm -hmm. nation almost that she saved yeah. because of that one deed that she did and that faith that she mm -hmm. had, you know, and we think we have faith, but we don't have faith. No, and we so often look over people who right. are in that occupation or mm -hmm. but who we think are, are not in our economic right. background or look like right. us, talk like us, sound like us. Yeah. We tend to overlook Do them. We overlook them. We overlook them, but right. really in our yep. actuality, a lot of a lot them... Of them are holding yes. the answers to our to prayers. Our prayers. Mm -hmm. I was telling Rodney, I told Rodney this about a year ago. I think I made a post on this. When God gives you a gift, mm -hmm. who are you to question the packaging? Mm -hmm. When God, think about that. When God gives you a gift, who are we to question the packaging? Because mm -hmm. if you were in a gunfight and they were had your house surrounded mm -hmm. and they was shooting up your house and told you they was going to kill you and someone came a, an army troop came i don't care if they had kkk mask on you going to be glad to see them you going to be glad yeah you going to be glad to see am i not right, uh -huh, you're right. so it's funny how christians we go well uh that can't be because that guy was drunk mm -hmm. or that guy used to yeah he used to gamble so he can't be the way God could use anything. I, Rodney and I was talking about this the other day, and a guy, talk. we do. Yeah. And and right while, after we get through talking about it, we at his son's house, get out of the car. A guy, uh, a guy pulls up, looks in homeless in the middle of the street, and start, and, talking, and start talking, and start talking directly to Rodney, mm -hmm. and proved the point right after we got out of the car talking about yeah. it. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and tapped right in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And start prophesying. Yeah. So if we say, oh, no, dude, you, you, you know, you got that 
head mm-hmm. garment on, you know, you look like you homeless. Your clothes are dirty. That's Your clothes is dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we, we, God is always moving. God is always talking, but we not listening. We not listening. We just missing it. God has got, going back to the faith thing, God has got so many blessings. Just, he, he, and he has it, but we have it held, we have it held up because we have not activated our faith. So you you out there with your it's, it's it's ten degrees outside right now. Your head is cold and your hands is cold, and God's got these gifts for you, and you don't have sense enough to beckon God for them and believe and start moving towards it. And so when we understand w- what faith is really about, God has this bag of gifts. Mm. Your hands are cold. Here, here's for your head. This is the and you go. Oh my God, where's when that when that faith start coming? That un uh, what was that word? Unwarranted, unmerited. unmerited. unmerited when that unmerited favor starts uh, leashing out on you, because I've been living in a whole season of that. Mm. And you go, where's all this stuff coming from? And God is saying, I've been had this up for you. I've been had it, but you was holding the bag mm. because you wouldn't you wouldn't unleash it. That's good. Let me say something right quick, because I'm, I'm sorry, and I'll go, we'll go back to my sister. Abronia did make a very good point. You know, she makes a good point once, every, once a week. Isn't it a blood moon tonight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she says, uh, <laughs> sorry, and, and, and she's right, and, and I was going to put this out here. Uh, what Rahab said, Rahab said, we heard about your God. Mm-hmm. Sure did. All, that, that's, that's all. She, she operated heard. based on what, what she, she heard. heard. Now, understand heard. something. Now, that's some faith. This that's is faith. the world telling the church, mm-hmm. we heard about your God, right. mm-hmm. and we're going to do something that you ain't got nothing to do. We're going to operate on faith, mm-hmm. which you are not operating on faith. Mm-hmm. So she says, we heard about your God, mm-hmm. and I'm going to help you mm-hmm. based on what I heard about your, your God. God. Now, I want you to... Help me. me. Yeah. Based on mm-hmm. what I heard from your God about your, your God. God. Mm-hmm. And it didn't take place in her area. Right. And it didn't take place that year. Mm-hmm. It was years mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. they got to where she was mm-hmm. that she was confronted with. Them. And I believe God sent them to her house for a reason. Mm-hmm. Because like Sister Sherry said, if Rahab is in the bloodline of Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. the harlot. Mm-hmm. And she ain't a Jew. Mm-hmm. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Yeah. So we think we got it all sorted up. There's some mm-hmm. people in the world who got way more faith than we do. Oh, they just ain't professing holiness. Yeah. That's the truth. That's the truth. And they That's get the everything truth. they want mm-hmm. because right. they believe it. And there's a lesson in it for us. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. If you get out of your holy holiness of holies, don't be a redhead. Your holiness yeah. of holies. <laughs> holiness, holiness. The, uh, we are some of the most judgmental people in the world. We are. Oh, Christians. We are. And Christians. you know what? The people that God is telling us to be witnessing to, mm-hmm. we judge in them. Yeah, now, that's when judgment is wrong. Yeah. yeah. We like to judge everything, and we think we're doing the work of God by judging. Mm-hmm. When God tells you to, a homeless person out there freezing and hungry, there's no use of you walking up to him with a Bible. Correct. Right. Unless you got something Jesus, that Bible. That's the Sermon on the Mountain. Jesus knew, Jesus knew better than, than that. Mm-hmm. What does a homeless person need? He needs food, food. and shelter. Mm-hmm. Right. But we so lazy, we think that this work is, well, I'm going to give him the word, and I'm going to give him a track, and I'm going to leave. Mm-hmm. No, God didn't tell you to do that. Get right. your hands dirty. Mm-hmm. Try to get that brother some housing. Get Buy him a meal, mm-hmm. and then he's his ears are he open to hear. He, hear. Mm-hmm. he yeah. can't hear and you think you did something, and right. you stepping. What kills me is my pastor always say this. I can't get you? with a revival <laughs> where you stepping over people to get to the revival. Mm. Right. You literally stepping over people to get to the revival. Mm-hmm. Something is wrong with that. Yeah. So nobody wants to do the work, the, the call. And and I believe a lot of our blessings are held up because we're not doing the work. That's right. That we have been commissioned to do. Right. See, nobody wants to talk to that person. Nobody wants to come out of their comfort zone. They don't want to walk across the aisle. They don't want to. They don't want to do that. And then they go, God bless me, bless me, bless me. Or you sit up in church and you he coming in a in a Cadillac and a Hyundai. Mm-hmm. And you shouting and you doing this and acting like you smelling your upper lip. God ain't <laughs> studying none of that. <laughs> because when you meet God. He going to look at the book of life and he going to ask you, okay, well, what have you done with this time and this assignment that I've given you? Mm. 
Where's your fruit? And you go, well, Lord, you know, the bishop called me and I had to. Uh, and um, I know I stepped over all these people, thousands of people over my, you know, 80 years of living. But I, I had to get to church because because the, uh, the deacons board had to. And he just going to look at you like thou fool. Thou fool. You had 80 years. Wow. And you have no fruit. Mm. None. I've commissioned you. I've told you what to do. Yeah. Go ye therefore. Mm -hmm. And you have not done anything. Mm -hmm. So the, the next person you get ready to judge, try minister, ministering to them in love and watch what happens. Mm -hmm. Try ministering to them in love and watch what happens. I always yeah. say that you'll never, you, you never understand how much love and compassion you can activate through you. Yes. Until you sit down and you hear someone's story. Yes. Just sit down and yes. talk to people. Talk to and people. Just, just hear their story. Don't yeah. don't say anything. Just hear just their talk story. To them. Just talk to them yeah. and hear their story. Mm -hmm. I would be. I would love to sit down and yeah. hear Rahab's story mm -hmm. to see how she mm -hmm. got to this point. I would love to sit down and yeah. just. You know, how did you get to this point? Right. And then that, to me, I believe, mm -hmm. I've tried it. It activates that compassion. Yes. Then you begin to see people mm -hmm. and you begin to treat people with through the eyes of Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you're able to sit down and hear their story I and just, listen. I just got something. You, mm. you, you can't represent a sweet-smelling Savior with a stank attitude. Mm. You got that one. Mm. That was oh, yeah. free. Yeah, that's on record. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's funky. Yeah, that's 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 thing. I'm gonna say this and shut it down. <coughs> okay. Um, <coughs> Farrakhan watching him yesterday. He said something very interesting. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, he's a great orator. Oh yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. I don't care what mm -hmm. y'all say about him. Mm -hmm. Great orator. Okay. Right, and there's a lot to be learned. Yes. A lot to be learned. He said something that kind of shocked me, and mm -hmm. then it didn't, because it's Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. He says. And Jesse Jackson, I hear y'all what y'all saying about him. I watched that yesterday too. I was blown away with the Monique, comments. Monique had said something negative about Jesse and Jackson. This is his response. And his response was was his mind response blowing. was dead on. Dead he on. Said, mind blowing. Uh, um, fair not, con, fair con. Con. He yeah. said, "I'm paraphrasing." It uh, came up in your YouTube feed too, huh? But go ahead. Yeah. He said, "Y'all keep talking about Jesse Jackson." Mm -hmm. And his his little dirt and his little scandals and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he he says, we all got stuff. He says, but I he says, but if I keep focusing on that and forget about the work the that this that man he did. did, he says you now, and he bad. talked about yep. when he ran for president, yep. how much good he did mm -hmm. and how he how we're and, benefiting, we're benefiting from, from him running for president and how he embarrassed. Uh, them, them, his opponents with his knowledge. With his knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, then when the next thing he said, I said, you know what, he right. He I says, did too. I, he had says, to, I had to step back. He said, now, you don't like Jesse Jackson. Mm -hmm. He says, but if you was at court and you standing before the mm -hmm. judge mm -hmm. and Jesse Jackson walked, walked in, in. Mm -hmm. you would be glad to you see You would him. be glad yeah, to, to see him. him. Yep. He that said, and Al Sharpton too. Yep, and Al Sharpton yeah. too. Oh, wow. You'd be no, glad to see him. He sure did. And yep, yeah, you'd be yeah. glad to see him. Yeah. I said, mm. brilliant. I had to pull over when I was. I, I, I was at a brilliant. stop sign. Brilliant. Yeah, wow. But that sums up everything y'all said, especially with the with the harlot, because mm -hmm. we see prostitute, mm -hmm. whole. Right, okay, right. Mm -hmm. and Jesus embarrassed the disciples. He says, "You know what? That prostitute gonna mm -hmm. get to heaven before right, y'all do." Y'all do. <laughs> with your judgment, with yeah, with your judgment, all your knowledge, she be judging y'all, and, and, and all your knowledge. Oh man, yeah. this man, that's mm -hmm. this, this is yeah. now that's the great. That is, mm -hmm. I just read in James, pure religion, pure religion, yeah. undefiled, undefiled, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. There's mm -hmm. a need out there, and because we have goodly apparel. Mm -hmm. And we are apostles and bishops and prophets, mm -hmm. and we, we won't meet the need. We won't meet the need, Larry. And I always, and I, again, I'm gonna say this because I'm cold because I have I can, I can close three, three times. Three <laughs> three I close three times. That's good, Doc. I bring your story up a lot on my show. Mm -hmm. Here's what you said, and it, it sticks with me to this day. I'll never forget it. You said you 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 were doing you were selling windows or something like that for Home mm -hmm. Depot. Home Depot. And you walked into a man's house who was a state trooper or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember this. And, I, and you said something to the fact that he was being disrespected 
yeah. in his home oh. by his children mm -hmm. and his wife or yeah. something like that. Yeah. He was, he was just Bob that. in his yeah. home. Yeah. Okay. But when he put on that uniform and left yep. the house and went into our community, yep. he took out that frustration. He took that frustration out, and he was feared yep. among. This feared. empowered him yep. because now he's your uh, no officer, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, message. That's what mm -hmm. we do mm -hmm. when we put on our our, yep. our crosses mm -hmm. and our the what was it the right. collar mm -hmm. and and all these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. We become puffed up, right? Mm -hmm. And we're better than everybody I in that place. How dare you? Authority. What my name is Walter is right. Elder, right. right? Highest of all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And and uh, uh, we have thrown out, tossed out humility, mm -hmm. tossed it out. Yep. Yeah, but when we go home, when we go home, we treat it like nothing. A wimp. A wimp. Mm -hmm. And so we are empowered when we go to church. That's why so many of these men of God mm -hmm. treat people in church the way they do. Right. Because that empowers them. Yes. Because mm -hmm. they know this is the only place they can be yep. king. Because mm -hmm. they ain't king at home. Mm -hmm. They ain't king at home. Mm -hmm. And that's that right there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna preach. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna preach it sometime mm -hmm. next week. But I gotta get to choir rehearsal. <laughs> Y'all go next door. Pennell Johnson is, uh, he's doing a little thing. He's he about to be done in 15 minutes. He's uh, doing a Grammy thing with his music uh, next door. Yeah, yeah. Y'all swing by that if you can. Uh, and uh, thank you, Tutson. Come back if you can. All right? And all that jazz. Hit the share button if you will. Those of you, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. More content coming your way. So watch the Jungle Show.